Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 5 of our Minecraft Let's Play series. So, where we left off, we had finally gotten soul sand. It had only taken us forever, but now we've also got two enchanted swords that we can combine together to have Sweeping Edge Fire Aspect 2 swords, which would be a cool thing to do. Do we have enough to do it here? No, we don't. We also have a, an ancient debris. Um, so we were building this, obviously, and we needed a bubble elevator here. Yeah? Wait. That was weird. Yeah? This? Oh no, Ollie's already forgotten the the tutorial he was watching. Because this is a good week after I last filmed. Will this take people upwards? Oh no. We don't want that, I don't think. We want to make sure that it's... Is this going to just stop us here? This is not what we want. Um, okay. Issues have been encountered. How did the man do it is the question. Um, look, let's be real here. What we just need to do is we need to come down here, along here up here. I don't care how he did it, I'm gonna do it how I do it. Okay, and then, wait, wait, where's my kubel? I need a chest to be made. Because I have a lot of junk on me now. Uh, sure. Because we need to put some of this junk away for a second. And then grab the cobble that we've been so carelessly placing. And let's just play boop and then boop. And then let's just let's just take that away for a second. So this would naturally take us to here. And then we just need something to then go this one block basically is what we need and then they'll be going upwards at a very wonderful rate um, the problem is though hear me out here if I put this water block here that now means that they finish here which we don't want we need to make sure this doesn't happen and then we're going to need to do that again I think aren't we Right? So that then... Oh my god. This is already real bad. So I'll come here and it'll be like... Yeah. What's this though? Does this still push along? It does. Okay. Oh, hear me out. Hear me out. Then they just go down like that, right? So now it's straight down, straight across, uh, they'll maybe pile up here a little bit, and then straight up. This seems right. Maybe I should make it one more into the wall. Yeah, that seems like a thing that's going to need to happen. Because otherwise, if I don't make it one more into the wall, right... We're going to have to have signs all the way up here. So, that's not happening. So, we're going to have to go one more in. And then maybe that will fix our issues anyway. Uh, we have to go one more in. Because then this is where we're going to go up from. Right. And then dig here. And then grab one of these. And then do a thing there. And then break this. Do a thing there. And then this looks right now. 
because now they're constantly being pushed down this way. Yeah. So if I put one here, for example, yeah, see, that's not what we want. We want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay. But then we get this same issue, don't we? Where they're like, ooh, do, 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 and then stop. How do we overcome a stop? Uh, oh, no. How did my man overcome a stop? Right, one second. There has to be wizardry here. Uh, skeleton spawner farm. Wizard stuff has happened here. One second. Wizard stuff. Oh, don't listen to that. I'm just being an unprofessional and opening it on my phone for a second. Because I don't understand how, right, you're supposed to not allow this water connection. He must have done so What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. He's done a thing for sure. And it involves a stone fence. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. So, he goes... Hear me out. Hear me out. Right. I think we're on to something here. And I say we're on to something. A man has already done this, and now we're going to replicate it. Uh, he uses fences, and he puts a fence uh, here open, right, then he puts a bucket of water here, so they come down, and they go through, and then, and then he puts, okay, and, and then, this is where it gets a bit wacky and confusing, but we need to be going up one from here instead. So, oh, let me free. Okay, then he does that. My god, this is going to be a big brain moment if it works. I feel so dumb. There are people, like, discovering these things, and then there's me just going, I, I did a thing, right? And it's just, like, looking like an idiot. So he did this, and then he made he made one of these, and then he puts one of these he, here. Does it have to be like waterlogged? Well, that just doesn't look right now, unless it's supposed to be like. Wait, we need to make sure that this stops being that, then, no, no, for fuck's sake. The fuck did this man do? What sort of wizard is this man? He is a wizard because it's not here, it goes here. Right? Because look at that now. Perfectly transitions you. <gasps> wizard! Wizard! That was insane! Who figured. Huh? Who figured that out is just next level big brain. Okay, so now we need to go up a many blocks. And I think the advised method for doing this is to use the, the weeds that grow in the sea and bone meal it up. So let's go get a weed that grows in the sea because then it creates source blocks all the way up which is what we need for the bubble elevator to work 
Oh, see, look, I'm not uber dumb. Just kinda dumb. The cows are loud. Uh, we need... Uh, is it gonna be in here? No. We need actual seaweed. And there ain't none here. How would one come across seaweed who hasn't found a sea? Because <laughs> the other option is very tedious and it requires placing blocks, placing a water block every step up, which I've done before. And like, you can do it successfully, kind of, but you can also do it very unsuccessfully, very quickly. Um, if we follow the river, will it lead to the sea? Like real life? If so, we're on to something. Maybe we make a boat to do that though. Because this will take us time otherwise. So that's the plan then. Oh, my god, this is like a multi-part thing just to build a bloody mob spawner, isn't it? So I've been to the nether just to get one piece of ingredient for that. I'm now trying to find the sea so I can get seaweed. My god. Alright, where's the time? It's still quite daytime. We'll take our travel bed with us. So that we can sleep on the go. We need to find seaweed. Kelp. Kelp is the name of it. That's what we're looking for. Kelp. And we're gonna follow the rivers to do this. Like a real explorer would. Shit. Okay. It's enough exploring, apparently. Um... Right, well, that, that river led to nothing. Will this one lead to something? I like the, the rowing sound. It's very peaceful. We're so going to get lost, by the way. Just FYI. Like, it's not even funny. Should I take some coordinates down, at least for here? Yeah, that might not be the worst idea. Because it will be a sad day when I can't get home again. Because that broke me last time. Broke me big time. Uh, we need to find C. Something we haven't seen yet, actually. Even when we got lost, we didn't find the C. Just to get kelp. What a dumb mission we're on. But we will find the sea now. To be fair, eventually we'll need to find the sea to get our ocean monument. But it hasn't been high on the list of priorities until now. Because, again, I didn't think through that this mob spawner would take me all of three parts, probably, to produce at this rate. I'm just a bit dumb. D not dumb. Dense. Dense is the word we're going to use. Because I didn't think any of it through. Which is my usual issue in life. Talking of life, I've actually, uh, I had went to, I got some sass today from a, a sassy man. He, uh, I went to sign up to my local GP. And the man sassed me because I believe in my own right that I am a superhuman. And require no treatment from doctors. So it's a bit dumb, but that's how I see my myself. And I feel like you have to... You just have to live live life to the fullest, and people people go to the doctors too much. Um, but that's another topic. Uh, so I haven't registered for a GP in a long time, but I want to register one, of course, because I want to make sure that I get vaccinated. Um, that's the main reason I'm registering, so that I can make sure I get vaccinated, and then I can be a successful part of the community and help bring the world a bit back together again. Um, so I went over there and I was like, hello. And he was like, hello. Uh, he he was like a bit, bit sus. And he was like, do you live near? I was like, of course I've lived near. Wouldn't just walk miles away just to find a GP. I wasn't, I wasn't actually sassy back to him. I'm not. I big up these stories like I'm a, a big boy, but I am not. I'm a very scared boy. Um, but yeah, so I, I was like, yeah, I do live nearby. 
And he was like, cool, just give me your postcode, give him my postcode. And he was like, okay, yeah, that is nearby, that's fine. Um, gave me the form to fill out, filled out the form. Uh, I did forget to put where I was born on the form. Uh, and immediately from there, the sass began. He was like, oh, no, no, that's fine. You just flew in, did you? Just from a, you didn't, didn't, didn't get born here. You just uh, magically appeared. I was like, look, okay. I was like, I made a mistake. You don't need to grill me for this. So I fixed the mistake. And then he looked at my form again. He's like, oh, so... Where were you don't where was your last doctor? Do you not know where your last doctor was? I was like, look, I don't know. He was like, not at all. He's like, nothing ring a bell. I was like, look, I wouldn't tell you I don't know if I didn't know. And he was like, hmm, okay, fine. And then he gave me a bit of sass for that. He kept just like sassing me out for not knowing my previous doctor, which I guess like very common information for most people, but I moved up to London four years ago, didn't register for a doctor the entire time because I haven't needed one. I get that a lot of people say you should be registered to a GP because if you do need something done, it's a lot quicker. But I tend to just brute through anything like illness, brute through. Just mo I just moan a lot. It's basically how I make my way through that sort of life. Um, we are mostly heading in this direction so that I can hopefully find my way back a little easier um but we're not finding any sea yet not positive another village or the same village possibly both <laughs> we'll go into the church and if there's no brewing stand in there it's the same village if there is a brewing stand in there it's a new village that's why you loot, children, to make sure that you know... Yeah, there's no brewing stand. I think this is the exact village that I visited. Um, so, we've gone over... Yeah, look, door was open, nothing in there. Let's just keep moving. We've, we've made very little progress, that means. I think we've done, like, a big letter C. Oh, but wasn't there a... Is there, like, a swamp? Did we see a swamp at some point? Because swamp could have what we need in it. I think this is a swamp coming up. Swamp could be positive. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I got sassed out today. Uh, but I did register. I have registered my vaccine. I have my first shot in a week's time. So I will, uh, maybe I document that. Maybe that's like one of the first vlogs. Ollie goes and gets a vaccine and just natters and all of the people that are in the vaccine room just look at me weirdly. Oh, talking of, uh, like, doing things and trying things, it's kind of relevant. It related in my head, now that I'm saying it out loud, maybe not as much. Um, I tried an ad on one of my YouTube videos, if any of you noticed. I imagine a lot of you who are new here did. Um, so my first episode of my Minecraft Let's Play, I put an ad on there uh, to give it a go and to see if I could feasibly like make any progress and get some subscribers and stuff and get some new audience so welcome to anyone who is new um and it went really well so far i think we're on 500 views uh, amazing absolutely amazing i've been buzzing the entire time because i've gained some really fun people lots of lovely comments i'm just so happy so welcome to everyone that's new uh, i hope you're enjoying yourselves if you are, leave a leave a like and a comment, and I reply to. So far, there's not a single comment I haven't replied to. Besides that, maybe like a couple, but like they're like people that I know, so I end up talking to them in like, in real life and being like thanks. Uh, but a lot of the comments so far all replied to. So any questions, any queries, anything you just want to say and just get off your chest, say it, and I will reply to it and I'll natter to you. I love it. I, the The engagement is so much fun. I really enjoy it. Oh, we should sleep. I've been really enjoying it. I've, it honestly, it's probably get, it made my weekend um, making that ad because it's just like the positive feedback and everything. So goddamn lovely. I appreciate you all greatly. Uh, so Swamp here could lead us to what we need. I'm just going to check something, but I'm not crazy. Yeah, I am not crazy. For a second, I was like, is this kelp? I know it's not. But I was just like, I was like, if I've gone all this way and it's it, that is cast as kelp, I was going to probably break my brain. So it's good to know. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with that. Honestly, it made me so happy to meet all of you new people and 
have a natter with everyone. It's been lovely getting that engagement and chatting to people. So welcome your your wonderful faces to hopefully the the greatest new YouTube channel on YouTube since I don't know someone who is also great on YouTube. Just insert great YouTuber here uh, and then equals arrow me now because that is what we are aiming for. Big time YouTuber. Let me let me do this full time. Let me throw off the shackles of my job and do this forever and commit more time to vlogging and all sorts. Long term goals, long term goals people. For now, we're looking at we're looking for those thousand subs. That's what we're after. Straight away. We're on I think forty seven now, which is great. Like a huge boost. Huge, huge boost from um from that ad. I feel so great. I'm hoping that that will really help my, with my growth as well, and that those people will, all of the new people, hello again, will tell your friends and your family and all of your relatives, get everyone involved, and then we will slowly and slowly grow our way up, and then just sort of see where we can reach. I don't want to set a limit on how, how high we go, but... I want to set the goal of like a thousand. And I mean, if you guys want me to do something for the a thousand sub goal, let me know. Um, very open to doing something. I'd like to do something. I think definitely, I I feel like I have to. Like, it's an amazing goal to hit thousand subs. So we'll definitely find something to do. I just, um, I haven't thought of anything yet. But I mean, straight away, as soon as we get something like a good idea, I'll probably make a video about the fact that I'm going to do it. And we'll go from there. So, if you want to chuck an idea in and maybe get a little shout out for coming up with the 1000 sub idea, we give it a go. Maybe we do some sort of giveaway or I don't know what people would want really. But uh, whatever you guys are sort of into, we can uh, we can definitely try and accommodate, I think, is the best way to do it. There's a little, uh, little broken nether portal here. They've normally got some loot and I can see the gold block already. I want that. Tasty. I didn't know they spawned uh, like underwater like this. Nabbed that. And then chest. What's in here? A golden apple will take... Fortune 2 will definitely take. Uh, I think that's about it, really. That's worth it. Oh, it's trying to pull me down. Oh, another village. Christ. It's not what we went looking for. Man, that one goal that we had about finding a village, maybe, obliterated that goal, haven't we? We've done really well with village finding. We found one pretty much next to our base. Um, and I'm proud of myself to say that I have not moved into that one. Because normally I'm so quick to moving into a village. I don't want to move into a village. Remember, the goal is to get a, an amazing ocean monument base. And we will achieve such a thing. It's a hefty goal, but it's achievable. It's just going to take time, which is why we're not moving into any old base. We're going to make sure that we move into the best base. I think... Oh my god. Um, it's quite a lot of... Quite a lot of potatoes. 20 potatoes. And three pieces of bread. I think we may be having an ocean spawning this way. This is cool though. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get a blacksmith, because they're the only... Kind of good loots in a village. That was almost identical. Couldn't even tell the difference. Yeah, I think an ocean is maybe spawning this way. I couldn't tell, but it's looking like it opens up a fair bit. So let's swim over here. Oh, you have to stop to eat. Didn't know that. Learning something new every day. It's good to know that we've got another um, another village, though, in case, of course, like, worse comes to worse, we lose the other village. Uh, and by that, I mean zombie annihilation, which would be a bad time. I really thought this one was opening up into a ocean. Maybe still is, just this way. I heard those zombies, and I wanted nothing to do with them. Oh, avoid the lily pads. It's not opening up to an ocean this way either. Okay. Let's then... Let's go and dock over here. Oh my god, we're just 
smacking our way through. Um, lovely. Let's keep running across the land. Trying in very much hope to find the ocean. A whole new world. I feel like I've sung that last time. It's such a like, just like exploring song. Like you cross a mountain, and it's like na, 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 na. Disney. Don't come for me, by the way. This is this is completely. Uh, don't I don't want that heat from Disney. Look at that Billy Goat. Bah. So cool. What a cool update. Am I right, guys? Um. It's a, it's mad we haven't found ocean, because they're quite they're normally quite a big biome. We're gonna boat our way around, because at least we don't use that much food and it's a little bit speedier. Meow, out of my way, salmon. We're on a mission. Actually, salmon, have you seen the ocean? Because they come from the ocean and they only come upstream to mate. Crazy. They swim up water. Everything goes down water normally. This is a thing of glory. Art. Right here, people. You're witnessing art being created. Oh my god. We're like 30 minutes in now, I think almost. And I, what? I, <laughs> I dug three blocks, maybe? And then I, another village! And I found two villages. And I've been exploring for an ocean for the longest time. Man, another village though. That's pretty crazy. We've got like village on village coming up. Like, it's only probably like a hundred blocks back is the last one. So that's pretty crazy. I think I saw a, yeah, little, little nether, nether bursting out over here. Well, now we know we've got plenty of villagers. Is there a little chesticle here? A little chesty? Chesty boy? No. Okay. Plenty of villagers, though. Uh, just give us ocean! <gasps> oh. Thought this was... This was ocean for a second. I got excited. Fucking just so much swamp. What an ugly biome. Which person in, in Mojang was like, Swamps. The biome that everyone wants. No! Get out of here. I don't want your disgusting swampy water full of lily pads. Look at this. Urgh! I want the other big water biome. I don't want to look at it. Uh, like, uh, who, like, show me, show me a good looking house and someone that enjoys living in a swamp. And I will show you many people, I will show you just a sadist. Because it's madness to think that anyone will want to live in a swamp. I say that. I know I watch. So I watch Etho, uh, if anyone else does. Etho's lab. I know they did like a uh, like third life series where like they get three lives. It was kind of like hardcore. And he built in a swamp. But still, I didn't appreciate it. I don't like swamps. I would say I'm a big fan of just very much a standard plains biome. It's very basic. A jungle I can live by. I can live with a jungle. But a plains biome, not the birch biome. I don't like the birch wood. The birch biomes do look good. But when you need wood, I want to use oak. Don't want no birch. Another swamp! Oh my god. I'm gonna find bloody Shrek at this rate. You're in my swamp now, boy. Don't know what imp impersonation that is. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's good we slaughtered many cows. To get what we need for this journey. A lot of a lot of steak. Honestly, living off of steak. What a life Steve lives. Or I guess technically he's not Steve anymore, is he? Because when you put my skin on him, he's me. What a life I live, virtually. If I could live off of steak in the real world, I'd be a happy boy. I thought there was another village coming up on the horizon there. I was about to be like, really? Just swamps and villages. If you want a seed full of swamps and villages, this is the seed for you. Because it is literally swamp, village, swamp. Swamp. Oh, 
I always get worried that when I lie down for a second in the bed, I'm going to wake up and go the wrong direction. <sighs> More swamp. This is lunacy. I just want an ocean. Oh, the, the water looks to be getting bluer. Oh no. It's just land. <laughs> Normally when people are in boats, it's like, oh, land, yes. I'm just like, oh, it's land. Fucking more land. I want less land. I want more water, less land. We've got so many lily pads now, though. Oh, I need 25. It's impressive. We must not be picking them all up. Cows galore. I'd slaughter these if I if I knew I was going home anytime soon. But I reckon... <gasps> I reckon I see the sea! Oh, oh, it's the sea! <laughs> we did it, boys! We did it! Ocean galore! <laughs> Look at this beautiful ocean! There's some kelp! Oh, get out of this swamp! Yes, into the wonders of the ocean. Oh, let's just take a little boat for a second and enjoy this. It'd be absolutely hilarious if we found an ocean monument here. It's just like, oh, there you go. All of our jobs are done. Oh, look at this. It only took us a whole episode to find, but we bloody found it. It's so nice. Right, let's get some kelp. Because that's what we're here for. Let's not. Let's go to the, the shallow end here. This is all we need, um, might I add, to do what we were trying to do. Is the kelp. And now, literally, we can go home. I've come here purely for kelp so that I can place it down and grow it. There we go. Let's get like a, a good stack. We'll get back into the boat and drift around. And we'll collect a load of it. And now we've got the tedious task of heading home. If I'm honest, I might do it off camera. Or really, really, really speed it up. Because it is going to take time to get home. So it might be at the start of the next episode that we get a cheeky, very fast time lapse of my sweet butt running home. Because... Home is far. Let's just have a quick idea. So we're at negative 251, negative 37, right? And home is around, when I took the coordinates, we were at negative, oh, wait, really? We're only about 500 blocks away. What? How? Right, so we just need to go further negative in this direction. Yeah, it's like, it's like straight this way. Really? Wait. Wait a second. We're going to run this episode long at this point, because I'm curious. I can run 500 blocks. If it's actually only 500 blocks in this direction. Because we were at negative 616 at the time. Uh, kind of like this direction. 500 blocks. This is madness. We've done, we must have done like a giant C shape or something, because it's literally, now that we're there, if I just go like straight this way, ow, literally this is so dumb. How if we do we did like a giant C shape to get to the ocean when we could have just gone like straight straight this way. Ah, oh, this is what we get for following the rivers and trying to be like a proper explorer. Instead, we should have just gone one direction straight and just beelined it because we are already halfway home. Mad. This is mad. I thought I was going to be like thousands upon thousands of blocks and I was going to have to do like a, a really long time lapse of me like running home 
But instead, we're 200 blocks from home. What? No. How have we done so poorly at, like, um, <laughs> travel? No, this can't be right. I have to have read this wrong. Oof, that was a bit more painful than I saw it being. Uh, so we were at, let's just quickly grab it up again. We were at 616 negative, uh, then 63, then 289. So we just need to go this way a little bit. Uh, so home is around here, basically. I don't know exactly where, obviously, because I didn't take the coordinates from home, but it shouldn't be far from here. I mean, yeah, I guess this is the point where I, I become an idiot because, ow, because I didn't actually check exactly where home was. Well, I'm pretty much home. Uh, I'm at the coordinates where I screenshotted. So from here, I'm just going to walk home off of camera and I will see you guys in episode six. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you could leave a like, subscribe, and comment, that would be wonderful. Tell your friends and family. Speak to you soon.